Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful 2018 KZ Connect 241 RLK travel trailer with the slide out. Go ahead and get started on the inside and then finish up by showing you the outside. This coach is pretty much excellent condition. Owners have only owned it for about 12 months. The only reason why they're selling it is because their plans have changed. Show the 241 RLK badge and the climate package, which this camper is equipped with. And that means it has an enclosed and heated underbelly. And I'll talk more about that when we get outside. Overall exterior length is 29 feet, 8 inches. And the unloaded vehicle weight, when this came off the manufacturing line, is right at 5,940 pounds. Give you an idea of the floor plane here before I get started. Okay, this is going to be your slide out. Your boot dinette slides out. Boot dinette does to break down into a bed. And you do have pull out storage trays here. Up underneath the booth, and you have another one there. And your fabric on the boot dinette, see if I get a little bit better lighting here, is the ultra leather finish. Excellent condition. Do have night shades all throughout the camper. And let's see if I can give you an idea of the window treatments there. Give you an idea of the color schemes. The color schemes are going to be uh, coppers, browns, light tans, and maybe cream color. And this is an ultra leather finish here. Uh, the slide out is going to be about, uh, about six foot long and definitely three foot deep. In the rear here, you do have the theater recliner seater, uh, dual reclining seats with cup holders and storage for odds and ends. And this is an ultra leather. Kind of zoom in on that stitching. And again, it's going to be excellent condition. In your kitchen area, huge counter space. And this is the wrapped counter top. Uh, it's not your traditional uh, Famica top with the T-molding. So this is all sealed up so you don't have to worry about water damaging your countertop. Kind of looks like a, a marble or a Corian finish. Huge double bowl sink. Kind of looks like a farmer's sink. And it is uh, undermounted, the sink is, which is definitely nice. A lot cleaner look. Mullen style, residential style sprayer faucet. And on your three burner gas cooktop, you do have the beautiful glass lid, not the uh, black aluminum lid. And this also uh, can be used as the backsplash when you have it up. Three burner gas cooktop. Front one's probably going to be a high output. Uh, your oven uh, looks like it's never been used. You do have stainless steel finish on the oven. And you also have stainless steel finish on your microwave. Nice range hood with fan. Kind of back up. Show some of the cabinets here. Uh, it's going to be maybe just a dark bronze finish on your hardware. And I'm not sure what to call them the color of the cabinets. And before I go to the refrigerator, show off the cabinets here. And above the theater seating area. Lots of storage. LED lights, puck lights all over this camper. LED saves you on your battery. And your, okay, this is going to be the upgraded 10 cubic foot uh, gas electric refrigerator by Norcold. There's a little Norcold badge there. This is the 10 cubic foot. Standard was 8. 10 cubic foot with the uh, stainless steel finish was an option. So this is going to be one of the, definitely one of the largest uh, refrigerators you're going to find in a travel trailer. Definitely a lightweight version like this is. In your entertainment center area here. Not sure what the size uh, flat screen that is. It might be uh, 30, 36 
inch. It's a Furion. And show off that Furion badge there. Now your stereo here is Bluetooth capable, smart device ready. Uh, got all the good stuff. Uh, CD, DVD player, AM, FM of course. You do have a, a USB jacks here. So you can charge smart devices. And more storage above and below. Oh, I do want to point out nice uh, uh, kind of a LED light accent behind the fascia here around the slide out and your AC is going to be ducted 13,500 BTU ducted AC unit with the quick dump feature uh, right now it's in November so it's pretty cold outside so but uh, uh, anyway you turn on the AC and open up these louvers this is the quick dump and once you get cooled off after a couple minutes close these louvers off on each side and you're, you'll have ducted AC all throughout the camper Oh, I do want to point out, you'll probably see that light keeps coming off and on. You have two motion detector lights, one in the entryway, uh, entry doorway there, and you do have one outside, which I'll try to show you in the cargo area. And on your floor, before I walk in the hallway, going up, up into the master bedroom and master bath, your floor is the uh, vinyl flooring. It looks like a marble finish. And walking back into the hallway, the entry door here. There's your motion detector light. After a couple minutes, it will kick off when I'm in the bedroom. Hopefully, it will kick off and I'll try to see if it and get it in the video when it kicks on. It's definitely a nice safety feature at night. You do a full walk through bathroom. Nice corner shower, glass enclosed corner shower. Show off that shower there. This coach is winterized currently. So, that's why you see the pink stuff down there, it's winterizing. And anyway, nice skylight. Nice vanity area here. Uh, your countertop is the wrap uh, too. You don't have to worry about the T-molding around the edge. This is all one uh, piece, kind of seamless finish on your countertop. So you don't have to worry about water damage like you usually find on traditional Formica tops. Nice that medicine cabinet with mirror. And this is gonna be your, uh, it's gonna be like your diagnostic center here. It shows you where you're on your battery. Battery's full, ba uh, fresh water tank. I believe it's 40 gallon fresh water tank. It's empty obviously. And your black tank, which is your toilet and your gray tank, which is your sink and shower water. Both of those each are 32 gallons. A gas electric direct spark ignition water heater, six gallon. These are your two switches, whether you're boondocking or you're hooked up to shore power, you've got hot water within uh, about 15 minutes. There's your water pump right there, switch. Okay, speed up this video. Oh, I do want to point out, you do have a um, foot flush. China toilet or porcelain toilet, not the plastic ones that you traditionally will find on a lightweight versions. And going through the pass-through bathroom into the master bedroom, uh, there's gonna be your queen bed queen bed does lift up. This mattress is actually pretty firm. Uh, it's not a cheap uh, 300 spring mattress like you traditionally find in the lightweights. Nice closet on each side of the bed. And I do want to point out you do have, see if I can get in there, you do have 110 hookups on each side of the bed. So if you have a sleep app machine or you want to plug in smart devices, you have that option on each side of the bed. And the closets are huge inside or on each side. I did check for water damage. There's your ducted AC. It's a vent there if you want to open it up. And let me see if I can, well, let's show you. Nice solid wood pocket doors there. Not just a curtain to close off for privacy from the hallway into the master bedroom. And uh, from the master bedroom into the master bath, you have nice solid pocket doors. There's where your TV would go, and it is prepped for a mount right there. All you have to do is uh, get them out and you're ready to go. I do want to point out you do have LED light, puck lights all over this camper in the bedroom also. Let's see if I can show that motion detector light. There we go. There we go. Just kicked on there. Pretty neat. And this is going to be your thermostat for your heat and your AC. Easy to figure out. Alright. And again, excellent condition on the inside. I think any dealer would definitely agree with me. It'd be a showroom uh, pre-owned piece. 
I do want to point out it's going to be a button for your uh, get that focus for your awning and your slide out. It's going to be your light switches right there. Okay. I think I got everything on the inside. If I didn't, I do apologize. Oh, lots of closet space right there. Hey, walking outside, you do have the aluminum tread steps, aluminum steps. You don't have to worry about them rusting, looking all nasty after a couple of years. That's definitely neat. Uh, this is going to be the UV ray protected aluminum locks, fiberglass finish. They're calling it a gel coat finish. Uh, looks like a high gloss, but they do call it a gel coat. Easy to clean. All decals are in excellent condition. You are uh, uh, solar prepped for a solar charger. If you want that option, you got it. And nice pass-through storage there. And you do have battery disconnect right there. And uh, it's going to be to the right of the battery disconnect, the red knob. That's going to be your light switch for the uh, LED lights on the front, which I'll show you. And that light right to the left or to the left of the uh, disconnect switches and motion detector light too. Oh, and I do want to point out these baggage doors have the magnets, which is really cool. You don't have the little plastic clips that always break. Okay, show off the front here and then walk my way around. You do have the uh, fiberglass cap. It's a molded cap. Uh, you do have the uh, diamond plate finish on the front. Protects from rock debris. That uh, fiberglass cap uh, actually is easier to clean. Bugs off. You do have the power front hitch. I believe that was uh, standard on this coach. You do have two 20 pound LP tanks. This is pretty cool. You do have the toy lock system. This is a cable, 50 foot cable that uh, you can tie up toys, odds and ends, generators. So you, when you're away from the camper, you don't have to worry about somebody stealing it. Uh, okay, battery. And 14 foot power awning with LED light strip. All the LED lights are working just fine. Awning is perfect condition. 80% uh, tin on the windows, I believe, on the tinning. And your, as I said, your, yeah, you do have the climate package on this. It's basically enclosed heated underbelly. Show that enclosed heated underbelly. All your holding tanks are protected. And it is heated by the radiant heat from the ductwork. Which is really the most uh, efficient way to uh, duck the in underbelly. You don't have to worry about heat pads falling off and stuff like that. Okay, uh, this does have the kitchen. Outside kitchen, obviously. The two burner gas cooktop. And it just folds away, stows away. And you, I'm not sure what the cubic footage is. Probably two cubic foot. A little dorm fridge here. Pretty neat. And you do have a light in there. Yeah, go ahead. Show off the bike rack here and kind of show off the rear front side angle what it looks like if you're camping okay you do have the bike rack that comes down and uh, spare tire ladder to get up on your full walk on roof I think the ladder was an option uh, on the side here there's your water heater right there uh, six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater I'll go ahead and show off the wheels you do have the 14 inch aluminum alloy wheels with the equal flex system it's a smoother ride, definitely the best way, best uh, suspension you can get on a travel trailer. Nitro filled, and I did upgrade with my signature little chrome nitro caps here. Not the cheap plastic green caps that you're gonna find on pretty much all of them. You do have the heavy duty manual stabilizer jacks. Those are the ones you want, not the cheap little uh, electric jacks. Those heavy duty ones actually do their job. You are prepped for a backup camera. Uh, wireless backup camera you do have that option if you want it and you are cable and satellite ready right there and back up here you do have the rain gutters they come out a pretty good way probably uh, at least uh, two to three inches keeps the black streaks from forming on the side give you an idea of the back side here this camper is beautiful. Uh, it's pretty, pretty much showroom condition other than the fact that it's got ice on it. We're in November right now, so that's kind of a late listing. And uh, the only reason why the owners are selling this again, uh, their, their plans have changed. So I'll go into more detail if you want to call 
and talk to the owner. You just call the number on the ad. Uh, you do have outside shower here, black tank sewer flush here, washes out your toilet tank so you don't have to drag a hose inside. This is 30 amp service with the marine stall detachable cord. Uh, you do have a light here at night. You'll see if you've got power coming into the coach, say in case you're checking, see what's going on with the coach. Uh, okay, there's your dump station there. I think I'm pretty much getting everything. It's gonna be your water hookups here. Fresh water holding tank here. It's gravity fill, 40 gallon fresh water holding tank. And it's gonna be where you hook up your city water or just hook up a garden hose. Uh, and this is gonna be your pass through storage again. And, all right. And again, this uh, camper weighs 5,940 pounds, empty. And it is 29 feet. Eight inches long, exterior length. Not sure what the height is. I'll put that on the description when you go to the website. You can see what the exact height is. Usually I try to get the height, but I uh, forgot that one. So, oh, and there's your LED lights. And there you go. Three LED light accents at night. Little switches in the cargo area here to turn off and on. All right, I think I got everything. If I didn't, I do apologize. It's a beautiful camper. Uh, if you want to come see the camper, just call the number on the ad. You deal directly with the owner. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. And before I finish this video, you do have exterior speakers on the outside. That's the other thing I didn't uh, point out. So, exterior speakers. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.